Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages and background. Welcome to Overwatch. Tonight, it's going to be Thomas College versus Stevenson University. Now, just to do a quick little check, make sure everything looking good on your all's end. And it seems to be just the case here. We're spawned out here in the middle of, well, nowhere, facing the mecha base with the city right behind us. Ready for battle. Seems that we are going to start ourselves here in downtown now. Both sides are have locked in their comps here. Hopefully I'm not too loud for everyone. It's on a delay, so you guys can tell me in chat if I'm doing something wrong. Regardless, as you're going to be seeing here, it's going to be a poke comp from Stevenson University here on Team Blue. While Thomas College here on Five, Team Red is going to be going four, with their good three, old bread and butter, two, the Brawl. One. Let's see which team's going to come out one. on top here Capture in this King of the Hill the style objective. game. First to get two rounds will win map number one. Both sides will start on out here. Let's take a look at Cranksters here on the Soldier 76. Going to be able to find an off angle to start. Has a good amount of pressure pushing into Stevenson here. As we see Thomas playing around in the mid room. As for Stevenson, they're going to play it poke style, but they have full control of the rotate to point as needed here. We'll have to see how that works, especially with Jay Gibby running around into their face here. Meeting with Aquilian for the pokes. That's going to be two down for the side seems and possibly a third. Rock comes on out, but does not hit its mark in time there. As for the Mustangs here, they're going to be looking for some headshots. They have a pocket with it, but the pull is too strong to escape with the coach gun. First capture goes on over to Thomas there. And you're going to be seeing how they position themselves as a brawl-styled comp. They're able to really play it up close and personal. Against Stevenson's poke comp here, they're going to have a harder time engaging them right away. It's going to really come down to these initial picks going into these fights. Now going to be meeting them face first here. We're going to have to see a push up with the Reaper. Rock comes on out. However, it looks like Thomas is not able to push up with the pressure they were hoping for. Even Ash having to play safe and a distant here. Does spot the soldier, but not able to hit their shots quite yet. Really close call here for Cern. As for the side of Thomas, they're really holding the line here. They're not really too pressured out around these angles. Now they're going to be engaged here with Paul Lessons, able to find quits and find the tank as well. There's three on high ground, four seems, and, and they're about to get a face full of it as well. Not looking too great for the side of the Mustangs here, as they're going to be forced on back over to their spawn. Engaging that with Coalescence and Coalescence alone, they are in a really good spot pushing forward here. Even getting that stagger out against the Mustangs. It's going to come down to an ult fest here. Can Stevenson make the push here with their ult, or are they going to be held back against the ever-relentless stronghold that is the Terriers? Let's find out here as we're going to be seeing a potential engagement but no and so we're going to be seeing a rotation they see that uh, no one's really there anymore so they're anticipating the rotation around the side of the point looking for jay with the boom jay Gibby finds two the one does get out alive as we're going to be seeing tactical visor into effect here shut down by that said tactical visor there and now we're going to be running for extra picks bob trying to sit around on point but gets knocked on off this first one's going over to the terriers score Zero to one. Very, very strong start here coming out from the Terriers Ready right now. Battle. Something that you definitely want to take notes on. I think this team definitely did Look looking at the, at the Overwatch the Championship Series Something to start. To but as for the Mustangs the here, they're going to be working be with Brawl potentially as well. It will be an interesting mix up as they typically like to go with their poke. But it wasn't as successful going into this. So now. The style is to get the team moving and on their feet. They're going to be matching them brawl for brawl. Almost an exact mirror matchup, except for the swap by Cranksters there. Let's see how this is going to work on out for either side, especially going into this first engagement. Cranksters going to be the one to meet them to start with Jay Gibby playing Scout. Seems Neon here is on the hunt, trying to play the front line, but gets a little out pressure there. We'll be seeing Rupier fall as it's going to just keep on with the damage here. 
The Terriers are on the hunt and looking for picks. Oh, they're able to find the first, second, and third. And pushing even further into their spawn. Wall point will be captured here. With a nice, easy start to this map here. It's not looking good for the Mustangs, to say the least. However, they're not ones to give up. They're going to continue pushing up on through. You see the swap over to the Genji with the Lucio traded over with the Baptiste. Besides, characters are swapping their positions here. Going to be working to stay alive here. Has a great amount of healing going out right now. It's going to come down to pressure. Mortality comes out immediately as Aquilian is on the hunt for a pick. However, they get traded back themselves. It's one for one for one for one. As it's going to be two to two, but Neon is leading it. They trade one back thanks to Pranksters here. Pranksters is going to be looking to get rid of Neon, but it's Azukita is the one that falls here. Numbers game is the name as they're looking for this hunt here. Could be seen Lucio go for a pressure with a boop, but has to play it very safe, especially when you're about to get ambushed from behind here on the high ground. Trying to find those initial picks, but not going to be able to get any value out of it. They go in with the coalescence there, as it's invisible for some reason. Strange camera angles. Trying to go for a hunt on to not white 2k, but she's able to get the healing as needed, forcing Jay Gibby to fall back. Simpson is down by 6% in counting now. However, they have a lot of alts to work with, and you're about to see a rotation coming out here as well. I'm not sure the Terriers are ready for this, however, as all of them, except for the soldiers, stacked on the left. You're going to be seeing this engagement here and now pushing on in. Waves coming on out here, looking for some slices. They're able to get initial damage going, but what's this? Azu yes. Kidda from behind, able to get that death blossom going. And it's going to be returned the favor by Neon. They're looking to be a hero here. See what they can save out from this point. Doing a fake out with the teleport there. But does get spotted. Is the last one that's going to be alive to touch point, but I'm not sure if it was a touch in time. Has the Lucio make it, and now going to be looking for a window here per chance, but nothing to be found. Not even Annihilation is going to be able to keep a live roof here as he used it already. Now Genji on point, and Tracer is going to be going in for the last touch here. Has to get it, but gets knocked on down. First map goes to Thomas College. An outstanding show of performance here tonight from the Terriers, starting strong and no less would we see from Valkyrie here, keeping the team alive, even engaging into that front line there where you often don't find them. Stupendous show of skill here. Gonna be hitting a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Welcome on back here. Just checking to make sure everything looks hunky-dory on the stream. We are now going to be heading on over to Havana. Currently, Thomas College is up in the Series 1-0 against the Stevenson University Mustangs. And with that, Stevenson has selected Havana. It's a great map for snipers and long-distance engagements. Ready However, that. we do know that... For Thomas College, they love to play it close and personal. And we have an interesting lineup here coming from Thomas. A one that I never thought I would see is the selection of Reinhardt with May. This is a callback to when this map was early on introduced to the pool, where Ryan May, Reaper, Bap, and Lucio would play up against the spawn in order to close people off. However, I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing that here today, if they're going to be sitting their way back here waiting for an engagement, but they're starting to make their way up for the push. As for Stevenson, who's now on Team Red on the attacker's Five, side, four, they're playing with three, Spam and Poke, but one. unfortunately, there has been a DC here. So we're going to have them come on back here. It was a bit quick going into that. But nothing has been revealed quite yet except for a couple of noises. So we're going to do a quick checkup to see that the players are ready. Trying to make sure that Stevenson is ready to go as well. One moment. All right, Stevenson also is ready to go. And we're about to get right back underway. Let's see how these teams do here, shall we? Got to be the first initial engagement there with the wall off by the May. Or it's going to be met immediately. That's going to be your healer down. And another to boot. My word. It does show that the Terriers had intended this. They aggressive against this engagement here. Neon looking out for the far left for a pickoff here, but it's going to be hard to find anyone, especially on this initial engagement here. You're going to be seeing Ruth here try to go for a push off, but that way, Maywall unfortunately will be wasted. That's going to be Jay giving me down. That's your movement gone and out there with furthermore damage being applied here. You see Ruth here getting the double and looking for the triple there as well. They're able to make the queen up and start to get this card pushing. What could have been a very disastrous start is actually not too bad. They do lose a minute there in the beginning. However, Stevenson's able to get themselves up and going, and now the comp has swapped completely over to a spam poke. Again, this is very interesting. We haven't seen this come out from the side of Thomas before. It seems to be a change in strategy. Maybe they're trying something different, something new. Well, watch out. Coming from the far right here, it could spell as demise for you if you get hit by the widow that's not going to be happening here to start instead you're going to be looking for some spam coming out from pranksters here to assist against this engagement but unfortunately for them ram is going full forest that window however is going to seal his fate for doom there finding the first the second and definitely looking for a third coming around there able to hit their shots just trying to follow it up there on the supports as they make their way on back. They're able to hold the point, but it comes down to two minutes. They did invest a window for that amplification matrix as it is. But Stevenson themselves also have some halts to work with. You're going to be seeing Artillery Barrage, Kasune Rush, and Annihilation. So this is going to be a fast, hard engagement. The Mustangs will pull forth here. But I have to see how this push is through. They're going to be hunting for Jay giving the start here. But you see Rupier is in a world of hurt. The artillery strike goes on out, but does not do enough needed damage there. Beautiful nade to follow it on up as the Bastion is laying down fire. Gets traded on back, and here comes the gravitational plus. Great counters here coming out from the Terriers. Able to stagger the Mustangs from finding their picks. Seems it's going to have to be forced to run back and away there, especially with those discords coming out from Jay Gibby. Akuzar is able to get out just alive, even that Ilmor, and they make their escape. 
That's going to be no alt charge there for the side of the Terriers, but it matters not, especially given that they have three on the board already. Looking for this headshot here does give themselves away. Pranksters has to be very careful and stay alive because this dragon is going to be crucial for this engagement here. As for the side of Stevenson, they're going to have two support alts to work with here, and they're going to need to engage it quickly. Beat drop comes on out, and they're moving in fast and furious. They're trying to keep alive the tank, but unfortunately, they cannot do that there. Gonna meet with the Dragon and Tactical Visor. The only thing left for them is going to be two support alts, but the damage has already been done. 30 seconds remaining on the clock, and just one alt on to parry with Game neon four. here coming up with the dragon blade but it's going to have to work very hard to build it on up will they be able to do it hard to say especially when you have someone like valkyrie on the high ground here playing a distance keeping the team alive and well the be starting with the window here makes the charge get by and that's going to be kazune rush pushing on in the start here jay gibby has found its first pick there but it's gonna be the second. Cosby looking for a third here. Tensels the blade there. Last one alive is gonna be the Lucio here as Quits has fallen. Everyone is down and out for the side of the Mustangs as round one completes. A very stalwart Zero. hold there by Zero. the side of the Terriers. Just truly amazing being able to adapt aggressively as they are initiating match now it's up to thomas college to make the distance here the cart may be here currently but it almost made it to the first checkpoint so right around where the end of that line is is where the cart will be that is the destination that thomas college has to meet in order to win map number two in this series for, so for stevenson they've been getting pretty hard pressured here and they tried to go over to the bastion it helped make some distance but it could be a question of focus Ready fire going action. into this. We'll find out as we see the swaps coming out here from Simpson going for another style of pokes here. While for Thomas College, they're also sure working with God. their poke. The same type Perhaps of poke that they had on the defense. I mean, the, as I mentioned before, this is a very long Thanks, range Jack. distance map. So if you're able to make use of snipers, of consistent hit scan fire, of just bullets raining in general, you're going to be very, very effective on these pushes here. So I have to see how the Terriers takes the distance here against the Mustangs. Will they be able to, or will their dreams be snuffed out? Let's find out. Initial push out going to be coming out here from Azukita on the soldier as they wrap around these bushes here helped with the sigma to push on up they're already making their way halfway on up here and this card is not stopping rock comes on out from the side of the mustangs there but nothing really to be found they're trying to work some damage with the pocket this poke is good they're finding some headshots but nothing that is really Elimination worthy, but as I say that, they're able to find their mark there. Mark gonna be on Neon there, almost taking him on out, trying to hit him with the storm arrow, but it does not find its placement. Stevenson, however, is giving up quite a bit of space here against the side of the Terriers, and you're gonna have to watch how they play this engagement. It will play it on back. Jay Gibby falls. This is not looking good for the Terriers, especially if they lose another, but they're able to trade one back against Neon there. That is, unless the Rez comes out. Revive here and now. They're looking for a double shot. Gets it traded on back. Stevenson has potential numbers advantages vantage here, and they need to capitalize on the space being made. Damn it. Gonna be seeing that push found by the side of Rupier. Able to dodge that rock beautifully. Even with High Noon coming on out. High Noon does find Valkyrie. So that's gonna be your heroes on down. Stick not hitting Azukita, but the rock certainly does. But this is just a matter of time before you see an investment of ult all at once. They are ready for this push. Just missing the needed headshot against Aku. But here coming from the high ground here, Neon's going to be able to fight some poke. But watch out for Azukita here as they could lay down the cover fire. A lot of spam coming out from either side. This is going to have to come down to how they ult this. Not able to zone it the way they needed to, but stayed alive for the counter flux. Flux headed on out. And now we're going to be seeing the overclock as well with window in effect here. 
However, it's not looking too fancy here for Quince as they're getting blocked on and off. You do lose your tank here for the first engagement as the rest are taken on out. Is there anyone else left here to really contest this point? It doesn't seem so as this point goes over to the Terriers. Now winning their second game in the series, we're looking at a match point potential. And who else but play the game coming out from Pranksters here, pinning some well-needed shots where they were needed. And going in, the Dragon stopping the res as well. Very crucial for their hits every single time around. Going to hit a quick break, but we'll be right back.
passion cards with somewhere else my past is hard not the combo gym getting back my art with the fury inside you can't match my spark so you're going for a shot at your chest i got the instinct to do it in this battle for death this is my time to rise you can't ride on my steps i'm gonna win and it don't matter who challenged me next so i can power through you with no risk leaving your soul twisted up in my close fist take notice i'm saying it's the coldest baddest erratic fighter you can face on the foes list the knockout king the all my opponents i'm taking every moment to win baby i own it yeah i stopped the zoning with flurries and combinations saying you a hate me because my skills are way great i'm back to 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 let the truth be told i feel on fire with my passion flow i'm back to 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 let the truth be told i feel on fire with my passion flow i'm back from a glory yeah Hear these guys talk big but i'm more prepared on my redemption road i rip my foes when i trip and flip modes you can't slip my blows i'm on the comeback you took out all your hands miss in with the glow i'm the champ that the fans hit hard rugged star studded and mighty and leaving you all bloody and making your face ugly jab hook uppercut for my flow when it impacts up your gut you want to try to beat the champ you ain't tough enough i'm sick and move through your best and i count the punch man i fake for precision ain't hitting with your brain cause i train with the wisdom game vision through the pain i will bang through the system stay vicious in the game and i'm back forever you can't stop my reign i'm back to 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 let the truth be told i feel on fire with my passion flow Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are now down to potential match point here in the best of five series of Thomas College versus Stevenson University. Now we head over to Flashpoint, Saravasa, located in India. 
You know, you have five points. We are just at the ruins, but we're going to be starting out here on the marketplace. The goal is to get 100% on three out of these five points around the map in order to win it all. So, whoever is able to get those three will come out on top. Now, do note that this point does capture twice as fast as the points we initially saw on the King of the Hill style control from Busan. So, now with some swaps Five, coming around here, four, it's the general three, brawl that we're seeing from Thomas, one. but from Samson, we've swapped up to a dive composition with Doomfist. Something unusual, Nine. unseen before. But will it prove effective? Who can say? We're now going to be seeing this engagement start here. Prankster on the far left flank now, and now going to be engaged here with Doomfist coming up front. Coming around the side here, they're going to be wrapping around, looking for anyone they can pick out. Going to be calling the dive here pretty soon, and knocking them on back. NG is on in, applying the damage, but forcibly down against Valkyrie, who's going to be pushing forward here while providing the healing. Jason's going to do their utmost here to try to retaliate with their dive composition here, but it's starting to fall apart one by one, as you can see. Jason's going to have to be forced to back up and play for a rage engagement here to start. I'm going to be looking for a play here coming on out, potentially, I dare say, from Azukita. He's going to be sticking around the side of Aquilian. Playing the front line here, you see a bit of initial poke now, but coming around the side, you will be seeing the help engaging with the Lucio here at the choke. Punch has been hit, and now they're going to make their way on in. Saving their amp, they're trying to make sure they can find who they can, and they're getting the first, second, and they're looking for a third. Coalescence has been activated, but immediately shut on down. The point turns over to the Mustangs here. Great startup for them. Not losing out that first point. Now their job is to hold it up against the pressure. It's going to be a tough job for them going into this, especially given that the Terriers here, Thomas College, has alts to work with. But Simpson has more ready to go on deck. They just need to time them perfectly. Going into the six, punch him into the bomb. That is disastrous. Wayne's going to be coming on and they're looking for the picks. Able to get those shots made. Beautifully done. Headshots found as well. It's already up to 50% here. And they're still able to work with two. No three. Coming on up. Jay Gibby falls. This is looking like something out of left field here. We see the swap force over to the Torbjorn. And unfortunately for Thomas, they have no alts to go with into this fight here. And the point is already at 80, 90% in county. Unless they get this next touch here, it is all for naught. But after we starting to see these engagements here with alts, that's going to be your first hero down to the side of the Mustangs. And Jay Gibby's helping to move around fast and furious. He only gets a pick off there, but I don't think it's going to amount to much, especially with the point turning here. Staggered on out and now alts in the bank. You're going to see Death Blossom as well as Annihilation ready to go. Unfortunately for Stevenson, this point is too far gone at the rate it's capturing. Unless Tracer makes a touch here, they're going to have to give it up immediately. Beat Drop has been activated. That is not what you want going into that fight there. That is a wasted ult that only is used for two as the Lucio falls. Spawn's going to be right behind Stevenson here as they can adjust as needed. Point's probably going to be opened up here towards Palace. No, it's going over to the Ruins here. So Stevenson is going to have to try to work these different angles here to start. Zoom. Going to be taking a look at Rufier here. He's off the tank and onto the DPS, trying to see who they can pick on off. But keep an eye on Azukita, who has the Death Blossom in hand, as well as Aquilian with Annihilation. Could be going for a quick engagement here, trying to go with some picks the from the Junior. Now ulting for it. Going to be right on top of the Death Blossom. Hope shut it down. That's going to be the first. The second. They're looking for a third. False bomb goes on out, not able to find any value, unfortunately, as Annihilation has been activated. They're going to be running it on in. The point turns over to Thomas College, and they're making it count. Lots of ults invested into that one there, unfortunately for the Mustangs. They weren't able to really survive through that death boss, and they find one or two of them. 
So they're going to have to really work this beautiful Genji Blade, if at all. This Dragon Blade is going to have to find its mark here, especially when they're dealing with a pool of Molten Core Lava. This Molten Metal is corrosive to the opponents here, and they're looking for some extra damage. Deep is coming in for the punch from behind here, trying to block it on up, but it's going to be Seamson's backline that suffers from the Coalescence. Punch comes on out, but it doesn't really amount to much. Doofus is going to be taken out. Already at 80% in counting. And you're seeing just only one alt used every fight now against the Mustang. Stevenson here is not in a good position for re-engagement. They're going to have to give up this point and play for the next one. Let's see how this goes here. As it has fallen. Now, Simpson made a gamble and it did not pay off. As the point next is Temple. They have to run all the way back from where palace and garden is so this is very bad for the side of the mustangs for the terriers this is anything that everything they can hope for here going into this fight they're gonna be looking for this b drop especially might be looking for some environmental kills as well rupier here on the flank but not really able to get some damage that they are looking for they have to play it safe and stay alive the plane is very, very dangerous here. Boop comes on out. As we're seeing, the punches go on in. Plane will start its capture here with people now just starting the fall. Jameson's going to be staggered out a bit as we see the swap over to the Sombra. Sombra's going to be great for helping stop engagements such as Beat Drop with EMP or canceling out Death Blossom. It's all going to be about timing with these hacks, but those turrets there, that turret is another thing that you have to be careful of. Places it right around the side of the corner there, and Molten Core, once again, is ready to use. It's just a matter of when they do it. Getting some great initial damage to start going on in there. Now going to be starting it on a punch in their way on in here with the Doomfist. Trying to find an opening here, but it really does not have the space to look for. g Drop's going to be activated. They just missed the punch on the Moira as g has been met as well. The Tsunade Rush has been activated, however, they're not really finding any picks, unfortunately. It's just too much pressure with the Molten Core and the Annihilation pushing into their face. 80% and counting here. Stevenson may not have another chance to touch here. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. The only person that could make the touch here is going to be Duke. It's going to in for the ult. Can he make it in time? No! He's not there in time. And that's going to be a Thomas College wins the series. Great effort coming out here from the Mustangs, but unfortunately it just was not enough. A little bit of a strange opening there, but you do see that once again Valkyrie, the coalescence, just beaming through all sorts of issues, solving the team's problems, and helping them play the game. That's going to be it from us here tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! In a black top jungle, running with a wild eyed hunger. Everybody try to test you. No shelter from the rain and the thunder. Fighting in a concrete wasteland. Watch them while they sink like quicksand. And everybody try to shake you. And they could come and try, you don't give a damn. You're stronger now, can hold you down. You're breaking out. You Never born to quit, you got us Freeze with a cold stare. Everybody try to change you. A stand tall, head first into danger.